This is Professor Darif Seitz. This Java tutorial is part one on applets. It looks at applet deployment to see where applets come from, where they can reside, and the various components involved with showing applets. So we'll start with a web server here. A web server is a computer on the internet that serves out web pages that are requested by machines from anywhere else and on the web server are files typically HTML pages also called web pages HTML stands for hypertext markup language those files have a series of tags and text and also reference other components so the server has those pages on it and some of the components that are referenced from an HTML page Java applets are one of them and it's the applet tag in the page that references the Java applet Java applets are special Java um, components that are class files they're executable files but they can only be executed in the context of some other host. They're not standalone applications. They're called applets. Also on the server are some script files called JavaScript, and that's not to be confused with the Java programming language that Java applets are programmed in. JavaScript is a different language with some similarities to Java but also many differences and we're focusing on the applets in this tutorial so the web server has the web pages that reference the applets and also it can reference JavaScript the client computers wherever they are a PC or a handheld device will make a request to the web server for a page and the response comes back so it's a request response interaction across the internet and it uses the HTTP protocol that stands for hypertext transfer protocol remember the HTML pages are hypertext markup language pages so a request to the server for the page and a response comes back. When the page comes back it will be handed over to a web browser to display it and the web browser will look through it and find what components are referenced in it and request will be made for those components from the web server and the, those components are sent back and the HTML page then, which is now at the client being hosted in a browser, the Java applets will also now come down and be at the client being hosted in the browser. And similarly, the JavaScript, uh, same pattern there. So one thing to note here, though, is we know that there's a lot of security concerns about obtaining content over the internet you wanna there's certificates on servers that verify that it's from a reliable source and the browsers will check for the certificates and there's a lot of security set up in organizations and businesses and, and there's different security levels in browsers and typically a browser set up to be very cautious about content like applets and scripts and things like that and there's options in the browser uh, to restrict their access or prohibit their access uh, one situation is if you're doing development of applets you're creating applets on a development machine and you have local HTML pages that are not on a server and local applets and local JavaScript the typical settings 
uh, of a browser will not allow you to run an applet in the browser. Let's look at an example of that right now. Here on my local machine I have a simple applet source file dot java and its class file, the actual run the executable applet in an HTML page that references it. I'm going to try to run the HTML page locally on my machine and it brings up a browser. My page has in it this text. It says when you run in the applet viewer, which we'll look at in a minute, only the applet is shown. Other HTML elements like this paragraph can only be viewed in a web browser. But look at the security settings here. It says application blocked by security settings. The name of the applet, the location, file, colon, slash, slash. That's the local file system. Your security settings have blocked a local application from running. If we click OK, it shows the window where the applet is supposed to go but there's no nothing there. It says error. If I click for details it just tells me again that it was blocked and there's really nothing of interest here. I'll just ignore it and that's all I see. Now let's go back to our diagram. Because of the difficulty of doing local development with the security settings, the JDK, the Java Development Kit, has a very convenient program called the Applet Viewer. The Applet Viewer allows developers to view the applet window. It won't show you HTML content or JavaScript, but the applet itself you can view in this applet viewer and you won't need any server. You can do your development locally, your testing locally. And it's a very convenient thing. However, keep in mind that in real development environments they will simulate the real end user environment and they will have servers and test their pages over an internet or intranet and make sure that everything works that way. So this diagram here now should give you a kind of a big picture overview about applets, what they are, the fact that they need to be hosted either in a web browser obtained uh, through a web page that references them for on the internet or hosted locally in an applet viewer for local development.